What does a revamp actually mean? Well, as we understand it, what's going to happen is that it's going to combine its individual countries' retail and operation, retail and commercial banking operations, and then rearrange them into five units. And this is going to be digital, retail and commercial, payments, wealth management, insurance, and then corporate and investment banking. The idea is really to simplify the business and really drive prof profitability. So that's that's the thinking behind what's what's happening there. Well, it's really interesting that we're getting all of this banking news all at once because we had City talk about their revamp last week as well. Again, simplifying management, potential job cuts, a lot of the same language being used there. Are there any parallels right now that perhaps we're already seeing? That's right. As you say, this comes about a week after Jane Fraser announced her own um, revamp of the bank at Citigroup um, again. City is going to have five units similar to Santander. Uh, the idea with Citigroup is that she is really looking to drive up the stock price uh, that has been really in the dump since since she joined uh, in 2021. So a little different reason behind the strategy, whereas Santander is looking to drive up profitability. So, uh, Citigroup is really thinking of, of the shareholders, but again, this could lead to job cuts as the measures at Santander could also as well.